welcome to lesson 11 in math. This is a review lesson, so we're gonna jump right in and review our measures. One foot equals 12 inches. One hour equals 60 minutes. One minute equals 60 seconds. One day equals 24 hours. One yard equals 36 inches. One yard equals three feet. Nicely done. Okay, let's review time really quickly. Okay. Here is my clock. I'm going to bring it nice and close so you can see it. Whoop, it's a little too close. There we go. Okay. So on my clock, notice my hour hand is in between the one and the two. So what hour is it? One, that's right, because we always go to the smaller hour. And my minute hand is on the six. Whenever it's on the six, remember how many minutes that is? 30, that's right, so it is 130. Very good. Okay, now let's review our coins. This is a dime, and it is worth how many cents? 10, very good. This is a nickel, and it is worth how many cents? Five, yes. This is a penny, and how many cents is it worth? Just one, that's right. Very, very good. Okay, when you are counting money, remember that we start with the biggest coin and count all of them, then we go to the next biggest, count all of them then the next, count all of them. And that's the order that we're gonna follow when we count these coins right here. So I'm gonna look for my biggest coin, which remember is my dime, the smallest in size, biggest in value that we are studying right now. There are bigger ones, but right now, this is the biggest in value. So let's look for all of my dimes, okay? They're a little bit scattered, so here's one, here's one, Here's one, and there's one. So now we're gonna count them. 10, 20, 30, 40, good. Now I'm gonna to go to my nickels. Those are the only silver ones that are left without a star. So nickels, I count by fives, very good. So I'm at 40, five more is 45, 50, 55, good. Now I'm gonna to go to my pennies and start counting by ones. So I'm at 55, 56, 57. So I have 57 cents. If I wanted to write that in dollars, remember, I need to go one, two, punto, then my dollar sign. Either one of those would be correct. Okay, look at these problems. You're gonna see a couple of these on your paper today. Six dimes plus eight pennies. So I have to count the value of the dimes and I have six of them. So I need to count by 10, six times. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Plus eight pennies. Well, that would be eight because each penny is one cent. You count by ones. So 60 plus eight is? 68 cents. Okay? Four nickels plus two pennies. Well, the value of a nickel is five. So I count by fives four times because I have four nickels. So five, 10, 15, 20. So my nickels are worth 20. And I have two pennies. So that's just two because I count my pennies by ones. One, two. So 20 plus two is 22 cents. Very good. Down to my dimes down here. Three dimes plus one nickel. So my dimes are worth 10 cents. That's right. So I count three of them. 10, 20, 30. So I have 30 cents in dimes. And one nickel. So that is how many cents? 
five, very good, because each nickel is worth five cents and I only have one. So 30 plus five is 35 cents, very good. Okay, one more thing before we go to your paper. Remember when you are multiplying, what's the rule for multiplying by one? Well, any number times one is that number. So eight times one is eight. How about when we multiply by zero? Well, anything multiplied by zero is zero. So three times zero is zero. And this last one here, remember when we multiply something by two, we are just doubling it. So the double of four, four plus four. What is four times two? Eight, because the double of four is eight. So four times two is eight. Okay, look at your paper, pages 21 through 22. Numbers one through four, you're just solving the problems. Number five is a story problem. We'll read that together. Ben and Luke each found nine worms for a fishing trip. Drew found two worms. How many more worms did the boy, excuse me, how many worms did the boys find all together? Well, there's three boys, Ben, Luke, and Drew. Ben found nine and Luke found nine because it says they found nine worms each. So cada niño found nueve gusanos. So Ben found nine and Luke found nine. Then Drew, that's boy number three, found two. So I have nine, nine, and two. I want to know how many they had all together. So remember that means you need to add. Put your work in the little box that says workspace. Okay, number six, write the missing term in these addition facts. Write the missing term. So you need to be a detective, just like Detective Jim over here, and find the missing number. Follow the patterns to find the missing number. Number seven, write the values, just like we did here. Number eight, to write the answers. Number nine, write the times. Fill in the bubble, whether it's a.m. or p.m. Remember, a.m. means morning. PM means evening or afternoon. La tarde or the noche is PM. And your brain booster at the bottom just needs to solve the problem. Okay, that's your review lesson for today. Have fun with it, guys. Love you so much.